Hi everyone. So we'll continue memorizing from the book of Hebrews. So we memorized up to verse three. Today we are going to memorize verse four. I'll read that first. Hebrews chapter four, verse four. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. So I'll read that again. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 4. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. So God created everything in six days and on seventh day he rested. So we read this in Genesis. So I'll read that. Genesis chapter 2 we read that. So Genesis chapter 2 verse 1 onwards. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God finished his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all his work which he had done in creation. So here what we see is God created everything in six days and on the seventh day he blessed the seventh day and he took rest on the seventh day. So he has set an example for us to follow right. So he has set the example he worked for six days and on the seventh day he rested. So later he has given the same commandment to Moses. So keep the Sabbath day holy is one of the ten commandments and he has given that precept to Moses. He gave that because it is good for us, right? He knows that it is we need that rest, right? So we have six days to work. So six days we are working very hard. And on the seventh day, we should take rest. Mm, that will be good for our body. Our body needs that rest and rejuvenation, right? So on the seventh day, after six days of work, on the seventh day, we should take rest. We should rejuvenate our body, spend some time for ourselves. We should spend some time with God. We should contemplate on God, meditate on His word and dedicate some time for our family, right? We should spend some quality time with our family members. We should spend, dedicate some time for our husbands, we should dedicate some time for our children, should dedicate some time for our parents. So we should spend some time, quality time with our family. And at the same time, we should take rest and rejuvenate ourselves for the next week's work, right? So next six days, we are going to work very hard. And again, on the seventh day, we'll take rest. So it's a cycle, right? So it's a cycle that continues. So that's the first thought that came to my mind. Second thought I wanted to share is what we see in Genesis is, God completed his creation in six days and on the seventh day he took rest. After that he is not directly interfering in the created world. Hmm? He put man as the master of the created world and it is man's responsibility to take care of the created world. God is not directly interfering in that. He is just overseeing it. He is the creator of everything but he has entrusted it to us to take care of it. So it's man's responsibility to take care of that but God has promised him eternal rest once his work on earth is finished right once he has finished his work or once he has finished his mission on this earth once he finished master uh, uh, finished his work on that god has given him in this earth god has promised him eternal rest so this sabbath prefigures that eternal rest so same thing we can map it for the Israelite people also, right? So Israelite people from the slavery of Egypt through the wilderness, they reached the promised land. God gave them rest from all their surrounding enemies, right? So that's their Sabbath rest. Mm? So we can map it to that. So this Sabbath rest that we are taking on every Sunday or on the seventh day, it prefigures the eternal rest, right? So that's a perfect rest, right? So that's a perfect rest that is awaiting us. So it kind of prefigures that time. So that's the second thought I wanted to share. Third thing I wanted to share is when we keep, when we uh, observe Sabbath, we should observe it in a holy way, right? So we should try to good. We should be charitable. It should not be any mere external observance, right? That's why God, yesterday we meditated. God was calling the Jewish people hypocrites, right? They were observing Sabbath in a very strict way, but it was a mere external observance. There was no true charity in them. There was no true love in them. Hmm? Then it is not meaningful, right? To observe Sabbath in that way. When we observe 
observe it we should observe it in the right spirit right we should have love in us we should have charity in us we should contemplate on god we should think how we can improve ourselves hmm? how we can become a better person so we wish we should meditate on that right so that is how we should observe sabbath then only it is truly meaningful right so with this i'll conclude today's meditation Uh, I'll read uh, Hebrews chapter four, verse four once again. It's a very short verse, and it's easy to memorize. Memorize it today itself. Hebrews chapter four, verse four. For he has somewhere spoken of the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. Thank you. God bless you all.